communicator thanks I think we need spiros I need a favor if that is any uh if that's all right with you I seem to have misplaced my glasses and it's a bit hard for me to find them because I can't see very well without them. All I know is that I didn't leave the hotel before, so, uh, for the whole day, so, okay. Can I go into some people's rant? Oh, I can go into random people's room. Oh dear. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just walking into people's rooms. Wouldn't they be somewhere in his bedroom? Oh, wait. Whose room is this? But this is not Richard's room. Whose room is that? Oh, you found him. Ah, oh, I'm internally grateful. Yeah. But whose room is that and where is Philip? I'm very confused where Philip Okay. Huff, huff, huff. Oh, uh, a uh, brother. It's okay. His condition has stabilized. Philip, help me bring Hero to, 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 to his room. He needs to rest. Copy that, Don. Hero, you can be. So pack care careless, uh, reck reckless. 
What could have happened if no one was around? Well, might brother be okay, Dr. Henry? He's all right. He's he's all fine, right? Uh, he's fine now. He just had he he may have just overexerted himself. Just needs some rest. Hey, yeah, you you me you me. Don't worry about me, okay? Run along now and play with the other kid. Well, we're but brother. Yomi, go play outside and let your brother rest. I'm sorry, but we have to let your brother rest now, okay? Yes, I understand. It's like, I don't wanna. Brother, it's all my fault. I should have looked after you more. No, it's only I didn't let him help me in lifting the pot potted plant. He wouldn't have had gotten so tired. His body won't wouldn't have hurt. I'm sorry, Bri Rose. You had to see all that. I don't know what to do right now. Brother says I should go play with the kid, but if I do, who will take care of him? Mama has to work hard to make money, but, but really, runs away. Oh no, gotta go find him. Back tears as he runs outside. Poor baby. I'm tired. Yeah, he shouldn't be, he's like a 10, like what, like an 8, 9, 10 year old kid who's been taking care of his older brother who's gotten uh, injured a while ago. So he's like, it, it's exhausting being a caregiver. I'm really tired. I, I, I just want to play with my brother again. Oh, poor baby. I want to play with the other kids again. I want to go out of the house anytime and just run around. I want to see my brother go go out every day to exercise, jog again. I want to see him healthy again. See my family complete again. Yep, I know. I know. It's okay. I just want my old life back. I'm tired, I'm super tired. Yep, emotionally exhausted. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. It's selfish of me. No, it's not, babe. But. Oh, oh brother. I'm just going to translate it to English. Brother, I thought you were supposed to be resting. Your body must gotten... Mu must gotten hurt again. Hug him! I couldn't sleep. And hey, Yumi, I'm sorry for bring being a burden to you. Oh. I always seem... Uh, I always see you look off... off, off in the distance and sometimes see you look at the other kids playing outside when they pass by. I know you miss your old life and I'm sorry for taking that from you. The, the moment I come back home with this in Yumi, you, Yumi, what I'm trying to say is that I'm really grateful for you being my young brother and I never, never hesitate. I've never hesitated. You've never hesitated to take care of me. You did your very best every day. And I felt so guilty for taking away your child. I always wanted you to talk to me about it. But you never opened up. 
So, the moment I heard you crying out here to Briar, Briar wrote, I was happy that you were finally able to say what was in your heart. I heard you, and I'm sorry. But hey, little bro, you're, don't, you do not have to be so hard on yourself. Please take care, uh, take your time and have fun with the other kids too. Dr. Harvey says I'm getting better every day. And I was just unfortunate that I had an attack again earlier. Besides, from that, uh, besides, from that, your big brother is getting better, okay? Brother, come here. Yay, hugs! They don't show it, but they are hugging, okay? Whoa, you have so many drawings. You meet, you, you meet? They, they look so cool. Oh, look at that dinosaur. It looks, looks so real. You are quite talented, Yumi. Hey, it's great to play with you again. Thanks, guys. Brother is with Paul today, and he's getting better. Give me a minute, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm happy I can play with you guys today. Hey, Yumi, what's behind this door? Oh, that's my mom and dad's room. My mom's at work. Um, at work at the hotel. My dad is... Isn't here right now. He's somewhere far from far because of his job so he can send us money whoa just like my dad i didn't really know i just missed him hey now don't be sad you mean tell you what until your dad comes back i can you can be, I can be written, Papa. Okay, sure, that works. Um, really, uh, really, uh, tran, 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 trini, trini. You're a girl. You would have to be his second mom. You can't be a daddy. Yeah, she can. She could totally be a daddy. Uh, huh. Jazz, uh, Sean says a girl can be a guy if she wants to. <laughs> They're having a conversation about, um, I, I love the fact that they're having this conversation. It it's very interesting because they're talking about trans people, basically. I don't know if they understand that. But, yeah, like how he says I could be the uh, flower queen if I wanted to be. Yep, you can. If you think about it, we only assign genders to certain words. Words don't actually have genders. So, Vincent could totally be the flower queen if Vincent wants to be. Hmm. See, I'll be the best pretend papa ever. <laughs> I love her. She's like, I'm going to be your dad now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, you can be his dad. Just don't call yourself daddy. Haha. <sighs> <laughs> You'll be the clump, 
the clumsiest pin daddy dad ever. That's for sure. Oh, Victor. Or, oh, Vic Vincent, you're getting yourself in trouble. <laughs> I missed you guys. Ah, uh, this nonsense. Thanks for cheering me up. Oh, so freaking cute. Kids, I love them. They're now going to play house. And they're all going to be the opposite of what they usually would be. Okay, where is Philip? Oh, another cutscene. Oh, this one. This one's super sad. Oh, my God. Why? I should start cleaning this up, huh? This is the super sad one, guys. I'm not going to go on that rant again, though. Ah, uh, Bri Rose. Uh, it is delight to see you, my uh, see you, lad. It's just about to start cleaning up some toys. Hmm. Why? Why do we have this? Well, where should I start? I, I guess I should just be be. I should be the one to explain this. You are a good friend, and I know Lu Lula doesn't want to talk about it. Lulu and I had once had a son. This always is going to make me freaking cry, everyone. Rex. Yes, little Rex was his name. And he was about five years old. Before we moved into the vat, into the ridge, we never stayed in one place. We always, we were always on the move. As we got new missions every day, it was too dangerous to stay in one place for long. Rex never complained, and he would smile and hug us tight whenever we came home. That little boy was just happy whenever we were home a lot. He never asked for anything more. But just child. It says it should say child, not kid, but whatever. I'm telling you, uh, I, I'm telling you, and I bet he got the sweet side from me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, then was one day we went shopping at the family, and he found this toy, this expen ex ex this exact toy. It was the one thing he always asked for from us. When we said yes, he was so excited. I couldn't remember the glow. I can remember the glowing look on his face when Lula led the way. To the toy store. But Lu Lula and I had suddenly a call, an emergency mission in a Neil Bible. If I remember correctly, it was a terrorist attack on a political something. My wife and had my wife and I had to rush over. They might have killed a lot of people if we didn't stop. Told Rex to wait for us in the store before we left. Our sweet little boy didn't even flinch or frown. He simply held, uh, simply told us, hold us close and told us, I'll wait for you here. Mama, Papa, buy me the toy when you get back, okay? We went off to take care of the threat, and it seemed to go off without a hitch, but... Rep, get back, you dog. Trying to come close, come any closer in the city street will go boom. We can't let him get away. Philip, er, Fred? 
he's got the file. I know, honey, but he's got us cornered and planted bombs all over the city. Rex may be in danger. Uh, we should have left Rex at the store. Don't worry, I have a plan. It, it's down to this. Okay, got it. Huh? What are you two plotting? Huh? What? Leela, now! Jumping in and tackling the rebel as she teleported from the shadows. Gotcha! Ah! I'll give my life for the Empire. Leela, uh, Fred, he's got a second trigger! No! He pressed it, but why isn't anything happening? Wait, no! This one has a timer! Tell the citizens to evacuate. Got it. Rex, uh, my son, our son, I hope he, you run. Lee, uh, Lee, Lee, uh, Lee, Lee, Low, La. They're making the announcement. We have to, we have to go back and get Rex now. Please let us make it in time. My boy. Please run up. Uh, please run Rex. All the citizens were able to evacuate in time, thanks to the announcement. But uh, among the collapsed building, we found collapsed building. We saw what was left of the toy store, and under all that wealth, he was he waited for us. Uh, I hate this story. This is a terrible story. He didn't go. He was too young to recognize the danger. Instead, he just stayed. <laughs> Maybe he didn't know what was what to do. He just stayed and waited for us. And we had just been with him earlier, but he was no longer there. <laughs> After everything was settled, me and my wife retired. We happened to see the same toy from, from the toy store and bought it. We didn't know why, but we did. We, f we found this village and thought this would be the place, the best place to settle down. Since then, we just been, uh, it just have been a quiet life. Oh. Oh, I hate this story. <sighs> that was such a long time ago, young Briar Rose. I can't say that I have... I can't say that I have moved on at all. All I know is that our little boy is in a better place now. Away from all the cruel, cru cruelness of this world. Sorry.
you know, Briar Rug, if Rex was still here, I bet he would be around your age. I bet you two would be friends, good friends. I bet we would. We would get ourselves so much freaking trouble. Sorry for all the heavy talk. But I'm very thankful I got to open up about it. I've been hard for my wife and I. And I'm happy for a good friend to listen to. to, listen to. Thank you, Briar Rose. Welcome. Well, I guess I better seen this uh seen this now. Got all rusty. Oh, and if you ever have kids with your special someone in the future, they're all, they're always, they're, they can always come play, always play on this. Okay? Okay. Ah, uh, I hate that story. I did a whole rant about last time, so I'm going to try not to do that whole rant. But where is Philip? He not here? Where is he? I think I need to go uh, down. I can build it. Oh, God. Bye. Wait for it to get back up the stairs. Move, stupid robot. if they're up at the uh, watery home. Okay. Is he not even here in town at all? Maybe he went Okay, so I'm just not going to be able to give him birthday gift, am I? This sucks. I really wanted to give him his birthday gift today. <laughs> just walk to there. Am I going to have to go and stand over by the thing? Just wait for him? <laughs> 